Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the OnePlus devices, which are going to be getting the Android 11, also known as Android R. So let's roll the intro. Besides the competitive price tag, OnePlus phones made headlines because of the OS, the Oxygen OS. It is considered the closest to stock Android OS by a manufacturer other than Google. This seamlessly lightweight OS from OnePlus has a lot of perks and e and every year it keeps on improving. Like you know, like each and every year it keeps on improving a lot. When will I receive the Android 11 update on my OnePlus phone? The stable Android 11 update with Oxygen OS 11 is expected to be released in September 2020. OnePlus keeps it clean when it comes to their UI, the Oxygen OS. OnePlus also follows Google's trend of launching a developer version of the new Android followed by a beta release and finally the stable release. Now we already have the Android 11 developer preview out. There with no certainty about the beta or official release of the Android 11 or the Android R, you know, like it depends on what you call it. So here's a list of the OnePlus phones which are eligible for Android 11 update. First, it's gonna roll out to the OnePlus 60. No, I'm very sorry, to the OnePlus 6, then the OnePlus 60, then the OnePlus 7 Pro, 7, 7T Pro, 7T, 8 Pro, and 8, which are gonna come um, within uh, maybe a month or so. OnePlus is generous when it comes to Android updates, and unlike Samsung, which only offered two major Android updates, OnePlus usually provides three major Android updates. The OnePlus 3D came with Marshmallow out of the box, and then it en ended up with Pi at the end. You know, the last update was Android 9. OnePlus will push out the Android 10 update for these old two devices. From this, it is sure that the OnePlus 6 and 60 users can rest easy as both of these devices will also receive the Android 11 based on Oxygen OS 11 update. Surely it will take longer for the newer OnePlus devices, but it will be there in 2021. So you'll get it, but not now. So here I'm gonna read out the Oxygen OS 11 features wishlist. Improved dark mode. Dark mode became a reality for everyone after Android 10 was launched with it. However, it is still in its early phases as there is still a lot of things missing from the dark mode. Even when we consider a pixel phone, we get a toggle in the, in the notification shade to enable it. Or we can also head into the settings menu. There is nothing about schedule night mode depending upon the time of the day. So a so customizable turn off turn on feature of the night mode is, is very much expected from the OnePlus. This year on upcoming Oxygen OS 11 which is gonna come soon, they would also um, they would also they would also do better if um, you know they would add a, a toggle to turn it off and turn it on instantaneously by just swiping down any time. As of now, one needs to head over. Yeah, you know, if you want to turn it off, you need to go to settings and do all of that stuff. Then customizable options, and then you have to change the theme to enable the dark mode. Always on display. This is the kind of old news, you know, it's like old news because OnePlus users have been expecting this since the company first launched Android phone with always on display. It showed you wireless charging and official water rating, the IP rating is some is something like everyone talks about. But no one but no one has ever asked for a you know but till there there's no always on feature on the AMOLED display. It is just unheard of it. It's been 3 or 4 years since OnePlus users have been asking for it and it is time the OnePlus finally responds to it. Yes, there's a feature that turns the display once you lift the phone but as soon as you as you, as you place the phone on flat surface, it turns off the screen again. The next one is Google Feed or Google Discover instead of the shelf in the launcher. OnePlus launcher is close to a clean clean free interface other than Google stock under version. When you swipe to the left on the wallpaper screen, you're taken to a special screen where there's OnePlus signature service. It's called the shelf. It is mostly used to note down notes and even open up widget that takes most of the home screen. However, there's a better alternative than this. It is not a bothersome feature from all OnePlus at all, but a better alternative is out there. The Google Discover feed content list I probably will appreciate. 
And yes, it is already available on a bunch of OnePlus phones, specifically speaking on the T-Mobile branded versions of the phones. More options and customization. In terms of customization, Oxygen OS has always been one of the best ones out there. But now a little bit of refreshment is very much expected. And some of the other fun styles other than Roboto and OnePlus Slate will be appreciated. Maybe a completely new set of wallpapers to freshen things with changes in the lock screen settings. Hopefully, uh, always on display will add to the list too. With Android 11 based on Oxygen 11 software update. Subtle animation for the fingerprint scanner. OnePlus is one of the first companies to use an inbuilt, you know, uh, in display fingerprint scanner on the phones. And with an attempt to make their new technology flashy, they went ahead with several animations that pop up when someone uses a fingerprint scanner on the lock screen. However, looking how clean the Oxygen OS is, a flashy animation just does not make sense at all. Any Oxygen OS fan would just want a subtle animation with the priority given to make the un unlocking speed more faster. It's like the phone can unlock, you know, whenever you put your finger, you can do it fast. But due to the animation, I feel like it's taking a bit more time. You know, there is there is an option to turn the animation completely off. It's called none. You it says, it's like the fourth one. You press that, the, there's no animation at all. But that just does not work out as well, you know. The final one, the all clear button alignment. The clear button that is found when one pulls down the notification menu or opens up the recent app list is placed in the position that is very easy to touch and touch accidentally. You know, it's very easy to touch but it's you accidentally can touch it very easily. It is um, it is placed exactly by the position where the fingerprint scanner which makes it much more easier to accidentally tap or un un intentionally tap it. However, there's just a concern for a few though that probably something that OnePlus won't look in the future too. So thank you all for watching. So th so there was a video on Android 11 and all the phones that were gonna all the OnePlus phones which are gonna get the Android 11 update. So it's a host AKI signing off. So I'm gonna roll the extra.